though the traffic in Bangalore is also. <laughs> but here at least that moves at that time, the economy was a little stagnant and the policy paralysis, I think that was impacting it. But well, we promised at that time that we're gonna give you a clean government, we're gonna deliver on the ground, we're gonna work for the poor and marginalized section of the society. And today when I stand in front of you, after 10 years of Modi government, I can proudly say, as far as the central government is concerned, we have given you clean government, corruption-free government, where nobody could raise a finger on Prime Minister or on any of his cabinet minister or the state minister of states. So that is what we have tried to do. We have used the technology to ensure the last mile delivery. And I can give you the numbers, I'll come to that later. When I'm speaking about technology, this is the right place to speak about technology, the city of Bangalore. Many people in the world may know Bangalore rather than many, uh, not many cities of the India, but they know where to come and to come to Bangalore and go back. But when we got an opportunity to host the G20 summit, Prime Minister did not restrict it to one city or the national capital. He spread it across the country, 60 cities, more than 220 destinations, showcased our art, culture, our traditions to the world, and finally, when we met the global leaders on the G20 summit, the kind of feedback we got from them was outstanding. They said we never knew about the thousands of thousands of year old culture, traditions of India, and our people want to explore it more. But if anyone wants to come into India, they need good infrastructure. Do we had in 2014? We will. I will give you some numbers so that you. You can make some comparison out of it. We had 74 airports in 2014. We have 150 airports today. We had metro in five cities. We have metro in 20 cities today. We have 320,000 kilometers of rural roads. We have added another 375,000 kilometers of rural roads. We have 96,000 of 96,000 kilometers of national highways today. We have. 1,50,000 plus kilometers of national highway. We had only 16 IIT, we have 23 now. We had 12 IMs, we have 19 now. We had 384 medical colleges earlier, we have more than 720 medical colleges now. We had about 530 universities, we have 1,100 universities now. So if you compare then and now, there is a clear demarcation that what we have achieved in 10 years is more than what Congress delivered in 60 years. So we had 7 aims, we have 23 aims now. So pick up any sector you will see how the growth has taken place. We were the 10th largest economy then, we are the 5th largest economy now and soon we are going to be the 3rd largest economy in the next 5 years. We were among the fragile 5. Today we are the fifth largest economy. Now, it didn't happen overnight. Some efforts have taken place. A very small, it looks very small that bank accounts are open. But if you look at 10 years back, you have to take two people with you, proposer and seconder, to open a bank account. And you have to have at least 1,000 rupees as a minimum balance to maintain that account. We came with a zero fill account, opened more than 48 crore bank accounts. Now how it changed the life for a common citizen? They were not part of the economy or the banking system. Many people raised question, these are going to be the debt accounts. But today there are more than 2,14,000 crore rupees deposited in those 48 crore accounts. 